We've got five tips for a successful Eden pitch, ENF establishes operations, a new artist on EOS, and much more. Hello, EOS Nation. I'm Daniel Keyes, and this is episode 121 of the EOS Hot Sauce. Let's get right into this week's spicy goodness. We're a week away from the first Eden on EOS election, where Eden members will compete in a political playoff to be awarded a budget allocated from Eden's more than 200,000 EOS treasury. Voter participation is crucial to the success of Eden and was a hot topic in recent Eden chats. Less than half of Eden members have registered to participate at the time of this recording, and the community is pushing hard to engage as many members as possible before the registration deadline on October 8th, which is 24 hours ahead of the election. You don't need to have a pitch, you just need to be a member of Eden and register to participate in the election. You can also run on a platform to collect funding for someone else's project that you want to support, as Chris Barnes did for the EOS PowerUp team and their Telegram bot. If you do have an idea for something that deserves funding, here are five tips to prepare a winning pitch. One, prepare a pitch that is realistic for you to execute. Two, if you're missing some skills, ask around in the Eden Members channel for members that could help you execute your ideas. Three, given the short time during the election rounds, keep it short and focus on how your idea benefits EOS and why you're the right person to execute it. Four, practice your pitch with other Eden members. And five, Advertise your ideas ahead of the election so they can be digested by the community and improved through feedback. If the community is already familiar with your ideas, your election pitch just needs to drive it home. There's still a week left to become an Eden member and join the excitement. Let us know in the comments if you need an invite and we can help you out. You can also learn more about Eden and how to become a member in the written edition of this episode. The EOS Network Foundation continues to move at a lightning speed towards its goal of empowering developers on EOS. This week, Yves LaRose shared details of massive progress establishing their operations. They've signed contracts with a Chinese PR firm, a Western PR firm, a branding agency, a legal firm, an accounting firm, and a KYC compliance firm. They've filed for incorporation, secured trademarks, and a website domain. Plus, they've done nine interviews for core members and started building their working group teams for two of their four pillars. ENF is currently focusing on four pillars of network-funded public goods. These are modeled after four of Ethereum's Consensus Foundation pillars. MetaMask for login, wallet, and browser extensions, Infura for scalable API access and history, Truffle for developer tools and testing environments, and Diligence for audits and security. The .gems team is proud to introduce Moraine Cavelars as their next featured artist dropping on EOS soon. Moraine is an internationally celebrated artist from the Netherlands, known for his unique artistic language, action-loaded murals, and colorful paintings. He won the Stolichnia Art Contest, and his physical works are in private collections all over the world. Moraine conquers spaces, creating works that merge site-specific installation, painting, and sculpture. And with the same playful enthusiasm, he now enters the NFT space to experiment with the opportunities provided by this new medium. He describes the intention behind his artistic practice as creating a world where he can get lost in, so diving into the NFT rabbit hole comes quite naturally to him. And lucky for us, this process is documented in some unique and beautiful digital art pieces. Similar to his room installations, he uses different elements and formats for his Genesis NFT drop. Expressing movement and diversity, it features an animated version of one of his large-scale canvases and 3D sculptures. Stay tuned in the next week for a live interview and more details regarding the NFT drop and a preview of the artworks. The Origin IBC protocol is a trustless and permissionless inter-blockchain communication protocol which operates without depending on oracles, witnesses, relayers, state channels, off-chain computation, and or any third-party infrastructure other than regular API endpoints and standard history solutions. The protocol is in the late alpha prototype stage, supports standard EOSIO to EOSIO chains, and uses Diffuse as the default history solution. In addition to the core bridge protocol, a wrapped token contract is being developed. Origin IBC protocol is not limited only to token transfers, but is also able to recognize and prove any current or past action occurring on another chain, such as token locking, staking, stakeholder voting, data fingerprinting, and more. A little over a year after Warbly's tech was bought by Special Situations Group, the Origin IBC protocol is the development of the rebranded UX network. EOS Power Network leverages some of the unique features of the EOS blockchain to finally give DeFi applications a secure and decentralized solution for non-custodial pool transactions. The project's developer, James Mart, explained it in Telegram like this. Basically, instead of pushing tokens as in a regular transfer, the originator of the transaction is not the sender, and the funds are pulled from the sender account. 
Think subscriptions are recurring transactions, or they could be one-time transactions like invoices. Lots of traditional finance contracts use them. Nothing really uses them in blockchain because it's very difficult to design a safe solution. EOS allows for some nice trade-offs. EOS Starter released the roadmap this week, and it includes more NFTs. EOS Starter's mission is building a community-powered incubator that serves as a hub of innovation for the EOS ecosystem. Details are still sparse, but we're happy to see that EOS Starter continues to include EOS NFTs as an essential engagement tool of their platform. They've committed to a long-term focus on EOSIO as a whole, and aim to achieve inter-blockchain communication through community first. This is how they plan to attract more talent to EOS. The first phase of the Start airdrop and the first token presale for projects launching on EOS Starter are currently planned for Q4 2021. Liquidity pools, staking as a service, a token bridge, and global marketing services will come later. And that's all for this week's episode of the EOS Hot Sauce. If you're catching this for the live premiere, don't forget to join us in the after party in the Crypto Voxels metaverse and race for the number one mint of this week's Spicy Rare. Once again, I'm your host, Daniel Keyes, and we'll see you again next week. Until then, let's keep it spicy.